I started in this industry when I was 15 uh, as a summer job, and I've been in this industry since that day. SQA was introduced, um, and it was a challenge. I was scared, I was young, and me as a young person trying to uh, train um, older people, um, it was really challenging because they were gonna look at, I was afraid they were gonna look at me like, you know, this young girl, young woman doesn't know what she's talking about. Uh, we've been doing this for many years and it's worked. Why are we gonna change now? So I wanna say that was my biggest challenge, educating people um, older than me that have been working in this industry for many, many years and it was working for them. Um, and yet here's this young woman trying to make policies, procedures, and set standards for people. But at the end, gold, I was really glad that I got to do this, uh, and I was really glad that I got the training that I needed in order to educate all these people um, and just keep growing on the food safety field. Another big thing that we have to make sure we keep track of um, nowadays, you know, regulations are implementing and implementing that we keep and retain documents for longer and longer and longer. So we definitely gonna need, you know, going into the years to come, how to make all those documents electronically and available um, at the same time. So we want to, we'll, we'll probably need to create uh, digital copies, digital apps, I wanna say, um, that we can carry on ourselves as we're walking down the fields, as we're all walking on the warehouses, how to record what's actually happening and that we are actually, you know, making sure our checkpoints are in place without having to worry about having a room full of uh, documents in the future. Now I am in the uh, Human Resource Department and Human Resource Department uh, works hand in hand with food safety. Um, you got a lot of policies, procedures in place that need to be uh, transmitted to workers. So you need that uh, human resource background and food safety background in order to merge them together and create policies and uh, procedures to train employees. If you don't know how to create policies, you don't know how to train employees, you know, you can get yourself in a lot of trouble for not doing it the right way. So I see myself now um, with somewhat knowledge of creating policies and finding the right way to train employees. We have to make sure that we are providing a food, uh, safe quality food to end consumers. And the biggest challenge we're having and are going to keep having is how to provide that safe food uh, to the end consumer. Um, there's a lot of procedures in place that have to be um, kept and improving as we go on and go on.